Great. All right. Legend is honoured to welcome Minister Duguid and the members of the Ontario Ministry of Economic Development and Growth to Legend Toronto. We're delighted to be part of the growing Toronto entertainment community with our 300 uh, staff currently today growing to 500, specialising in visual effects, 3D conversion and virtual reality. The work we do in Canada is seen and enjoyed by millions uh, the world over, reinforcing the role as Canada's global, or sorry, the country's uh, role as a global force in visual media. On behalf of the CEO, Aidan Foley, who sends his warm wishes, we, we would want to express our thanks to the Ministry uh, for its continuing support of the creative work that we do for the movie and television industries, um, as well as the world-class brands that we work with. Well, thank you so much, Mark, and uh, Mark, Riley, and um, Olivia, and, and Team Legend. Uh, thanks for inviting us here today uh, to join you. I, I just had an, an incredible experience in your studio, uh, which is really cool. Like it, that, it, you've got a wooden wall here, and the studio is kind of hidden in behind this wall. Uh, and uh, it's just, you know, you took me into a whole new world of uh, virtual reality. Uh, saw some of the technology that uh, involved in the conversion uh, from uh, a regular 2D movie to 3D. Uh, and I am just absolutely thrilled to be here. Uh, this discussion started about four years ago, Mark, as you know. Uh, and uh, you know you've been around a while uh, when something that started four years ago uh, happens and you're still around to be able to be here to, uh, to symbolically cut the ribbon. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an announcement we've looked forward to for some time. Uh, and uh, to be frank, uh, when, we, when we look at what's going on today in the film and entertainment industry and in the, in the uh, digital media industry, I think the only way to categorize it is to say that Ontario is absolutely killing it in our digital media, uh, film and entertainment sector. Our cluster is growing in leaps and bounds. In fact, we're up to close to $3 billion, $2.7 billion now of investment in this, uh, in this sector in Ontario. That's close to, it's 49,000 jobs. We might as well say 50,000 because by the time we finish here today, it'll probably be uh, up to 50,000 jobs that are created in this sector, uh, which is hugely exciting uh, for Ontario's economy. We're now, uh, we've now broken records in terms of film uh, production uh, for three consecutive years in Ontario. So our film entertainment and digital media sector is booming in Toronto, hence uh, why we're here today. And I think in many ways, uh, our efforts to build our talent in this province, our efforts to build, make, create a province that where it's easy to invest, easy to do business, uh, is something that's really starting to pay off. We're leading the G7 in growth. Um, we have been for the last three years. Our unemployment rate is among the lowest we've seen now in Ontario in decades. We're now in the top three when it comes to attracting foreign direct investment. Have consistently been in the top three over the last four years. And cup two of those four years, number one. Uh, what that tells me is that we're doing well. But the reality is, and nobody knows this better, better than Legend 3D, we're competing in a fiercely competitive global environment, and we need to be at our best. Uh, we need to ensure that we're always at the cutting edge in today's fast-moving, fast-disrupting uh, tech economy. And this is especially so for tech companies like Legend. Uh, this is the kind of company that we're trying to build and attract here in Ontario, because this is the kind of company that represents the new global economy. Uh, which, makes, which means I'm so excited to be here today. So I'm delighted today uh, to announce a $3.1 million investment by the province of Ontario in partnership with Legend 3D. The total combined investment will be $31 million here in Ontario. This project will allow Legend 3D to consolidate its operations uh, in the greater Toronto area into one centralized location. This investment will double Legend 3D's current workforce in Toronto and support more than 550 jobs. This investment will help Legend 3D hire, train staff, buy equipment, and upgrade their facilities. It will also go towards research and development of software, 
which will boost uh, 3D's competitive, uh, Legend 3D's competitiveness uh, by helping it keep its technologically leading cutting edge uh, opportunities uh, that continue to ensure that uh, Legend 3D uh, maintains its globally competitive status. This today is the second significant player uh, in this powerful film and, and, and digital media cluster that we've attracted to make significant investments in the province of Ontario in less than a year. Ontario is now home to the two top global leaders in this space. Combined, uh, they control between Legend 3D and the other uh, uh, significant partner we attracted to, uh, in the last six months, close to 80 to 90 percent of the market share globally. What this tells me is this is a powerful cluster that's developing and evolving here in the province of Ontario. And so I'll say it again, Ontario is absolutely killing it when it comes to investment in the entertainment, uh, film and digital media sector. And I want to congratulate Team Legend here today and thank you for your significant investments in, your province, in this province, your confidence uh, by making these significant uh, investments here and consolidating a lot of the work that you're doing here in Toronto. Uh, and I want to congratulate you on uh, maintaining your positional leadership as a global leading tech film and entertainment uh, leader here in the province of Ontario. Thank you all so very much for, for what you do. Thank you for building this very exciting film, entertainment, and digital media cluster here in the province of Ontario. I can't think of a more exciting way uh, to start a day than here with uh, Team Legend here uh, in Toronto. Thank you, Mark. And do I take questions, Felina? Yeah, uh, do you have any questions? Um, sure, well, maybe you can start out by telling me why the government is investing so heavily in this sector. Well, we're investing heavily in a lot of sectors, uh, and the reason why is our economy is in a state of transition. The global economy is in a state of transition. Our choice is to sit back and watch technological disruption uh, run over our economy or lead technological disruption from here in Ontario. We have the talent here in this province to be a global leader in developing uh, all these new technologies. Uh, so we need to seize those opportunities, and we need to seize them today, uh, which is why it's important, because it's a, a very competitive environment. Legend 3D could have set up this, uh, th this operation in many places in the world. Uh, they chose here, uh, and Mark could probably speak better to the reasons. Um, really, uh, you know, what Mark has said to me is they chose Ontario because it's a good place to invest and because of the talent that we've built here in this province. Uh, which is something that we need to take advantage of. So we've invested, uh, you know, in this sector. We're investing in, obviously, artificial intelligence. Uh, we, our business growth initiative is investing in robotics and investing in supercomputing, uh, investing in quantum uh, physics, and all of these investments we've, we've, we've upgraded in the last budget uh, because we want to ensure that Ontario is not only doing well today, which we are, uh, but that we actually are going to pass on a strong economy to the next generation. And these are the kind of investments that will ensure that we can do that. Is there any guarantee with the jobs how long they're going to last? There's always guarantees that come with this and accountability mechanisms. Uh, so the, uh, the, the uh, investments that are made are contingent on, 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 the, uh, on legend and as with our other uh, corporate partners, making the investments they've committed to do and creating the jobs they've committed to, to, to create. And how long are the jobs? Uh, I'd, I'd have to go back and check and see whether uh, that's something that's, that, that can be public or not, uh, because some of, these, uh, some of these arrangements are commercially sensitive to the companies. As you can imagine, we've had uh, two big investments in Toronto, and, and, they, and you know, Legend competes with Stereo D, uh, which is uh, you know, also a global leading uh, 3D converting company. Uh, so that's something I may not be able to share with you, but uh, we can we can check and see. And how's the money going to roll out? Is it all at once or over a period of time? It usually rolls out over a period of time. Uh, I'm not uh, familiar with the uh, in, the in entire timetable. That's something we may be able to share with you. It may be commercially sensitive too, because sometimes with competitors, uh, a company may not want their competitor to know exactly when they're making the investments that they're making. 
uh, but it usually happens over a period of time. But I'd have to uh, I'd have to check in the details. Right. Anything else you'd like to add, to add Mark? No, I, I think I would just reiterate. I think um, one of the comments that you made, um, Mr. Duguid, was um, essentially um, Ontario was selected because it's very easy to do business. Um, when we actually first opened the facility, a lot of people were very um, shocked at our timeline. I think we hired about 200 people in about three months. Um, so, you know, getting, um, knowing, we knew the market well. Um, I'm a former, well, I still am a Canadian, um, but I live in Los Angeles now. But uh, we, knew, we knew the local economy. We knew um, the abundance of rich talent here, and so we were very confident um, in our expansion plans here um, in Ontario. And we had a lot of um, significant support from the province uh, to pull off what we did in such a very short period of time. Being able to work with the, uh, the local schools was very impressive to be able to ramp up so quickly. All right, folks, thank you so much for spending your morning with us today. I know some of you have to get back to work, and I do too, uh, <laughs> but it, it was a thrill to be here. Yeah, thank and you. Congratulations on, on the growth of this incredible company, and thank you for choosing Ontario. Yeah, and thank you for your support. Great. Thank you. Thank you.